Hi everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.4.1.3 Configuring Initial Router Settings. Now this lab should be a review from Chapter 2 and early on in the class where we were configuring passwords um, using the console line to configure the uh, router switch from a PC um, and showing our running configuration, saving our configurations, um, and stuff like that. So this lab should go pretty quickly. So first we're going to connect a console cable from the PC's RS-232 port to the router's console port. Now in more updated uh, equipment, sometimes the router will have a mini USB slot and you can actually plug a console cable that has a USB on the PC end and a mini USB on the router end to configure it. Um, now we're going to click on PCA and go to desktop, terminal, click OK, and you see we have all of our router configurations here that we can interact with our router. So we hit return, and um, here we are in uh, privilege mode. We type enable to go to privileged exec mode, um, and then of course from here you can do your show run commands like in your directions or show running config. Now with show run will show you is everything you have configured on your router in general. No like super detailed stuff but uh, definitely a good starting place. So you hit space bar to kind of tab through the information. It'll show you have two gigabit ethernet ports G00 and G01. Those operate at one gigabit per second in speed or you know up to um, all of your stuff has to be operating at the same uh, for you to achieve that, but or a thousand megabits per second, which is pretty fast. You have two serial interfaces. Those usually connect two routers together. And then you have four fast Ethernet ports. Usually you only have two on a router, but here we've got four of them, um, and those all operate at 100 megabits per second. We also see that we don't have any passwords configured for our console line zero, our VTY, VTY lines, or anything like that. So we're going to start with going next to configuration mode with config T. And now we can start configuring step two, uh, I'm sorry, um, part two, step one. All right. So we're going to. Uh, change the router's host name to R1 so that command is host name R1 and you see it changed there now we're going to set the following passwords a line console password of let me in and again all these commands should be review uh, but we do that with line console 0 or line con 0 we'll hit enter password is let me in and we have to type in login for it to definitely use that password and then we can exit that Next, we're going to set a privileged exec unencrypted uh, password of Cisco, which is enable password Cisco. Remember, the bad part with that command is it stores it in plain text, so we don't want that. The next one we set in uh, B3 there is privileged exec password, which is encrypted of it's a secret. So we do enable secret it's a secret. Now that will actually override the Cisco password we just set because it is encrypted so it will actually use that one. Uh, next we encrypt all plain text passwords with service password encryption. Service password dash encryption. Now to, to in case you forget the dashes and everything remember you can use the tab key uh, once you start typing, it'll try to finish out what you're typing. And then lastly, the banner of the day, banner, MOTD, and then unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. All right. And now if we exit all the way back out, so type exit a couple times, okay. The first password it gets to is the console password. This is actually us physically trying to log onto the router. And the password we set was let me in and hit enter. So this one, the console password, is the first password you'll always get to when you're trying to start from scratch here. Next, we type enable. And we're going to hit be hit with another password prompt. So these two were set to enter into privileged exec mode because right now we're in privileged mode. So to get from privileged to privileged exec mode where you just have the pound symbol, we got to use one of these two passwords. Now again, this one is stored in plain text, the one we set this unencrypted uh, for Cisco. This one is stored um, in 
uh, encryption, so it uh, actually overrides the other one. So the password we want to use here is it's a secret and hit enter. And now we are logged in fully and we could, you know, do more show run commands. So if we do like show run here, all right, down here at the bottom, you can see that there's a password set here. We can't see it because it is encrypted. Up here at the top, you can see our host name change. We did service password encryption command. We have our enable secret and enable password one set, but remember it's going to use the enable secret because it overrides the other one. Okay. Uh, also, it shows our banner message of the day. Okay. Now, to save our configurations, okay, because again, if there were a power outage or something, um, then it would not save it. Now, saving your labs and packet tracer, yeah, it'll come back up. But if there were uh, a power outage in a real world situation or you actually power this off because you can do that under the physical tab, um, you can power the router off, everything will be gone. So to, um, to save it, we're going to do copy, run, start. All right, and that will actually save our configurations for us, okay? And that's pretty much it. So now we have 80 out of 80 for this particular lab. Um, again, this is just pretty much a review of all the stuff that we've completed before, um, but it is a good review for configuring a router from a PC. So if you have any questions on this, please let me know.